Hi folks, Vince here. I'm going to show you how to send an SMS message to your cleaner or to anybody um, when a new booking is imported or synced into Uplisting or created on Uplisting. We're going to do that through our Zapier app. Um, if you're not familiar with our Zapier app, it's uh, an incredibly powerful integration that allows you to sync um, Uplisting bookings with basically any other app out there. Um, so uh, to set that up, you go to your uh, connect screen, um, you'll see Zapier and you copy the API key. Uh, you then click this button to join the Uplisting app on Zapier. Uh, it's currently in beta, so you need to, you need to click this button before you um, can access it. Uh, but assuming you have access to it, um, it's very, very straightforward to use Uplisting. And we're going to use, uh, we're going to connect Uplisting to a service called Twilio. Um, Twilio is used by um, the likes of Airbnb and Uber and those kind of companies to send their SMS messages. Um, again, it's pretty simple to set up, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you just need to set it up once, and then it kind of runs in the background once you have it integrated. Uh, but how we're going to set this, we're going to set up this uh, trigger. Um, within Zapier, um, and the first step is to select Uplisting as your uh, trigger app. Uh, we then go and select the trigger, so we have new booking, booking updated, and booking removed. Um, you probably want to use all three of these um, to send SMS uh, updates. So first of all, whenever a, a new booking is created, a new cleaner will get an SMS. Um, then if it's changed, like the length of stay or the checkout date has changed, you want to update that as well. Or if the check-in time or ch check-out time has changed, you can use that to trigger an update too. Um, and then if the booking is cancelled, um, you might want to send an SMS to update your cleaner of that as well. So for now, we'll just select a new booking, but the other ones work in a similar fashion. We click continue. Uh, this is at this point you'll connect your Uplisting account um, and you use the API key that you uh, I showed you here on the connect screen. Um, you enter that and connect, and we'll click continue. Um, at that point, then we pull in or uh, Zapier pulls in a test booking, an actual booking from your account. So this is from Sam Smith, and it is on this property. Uh, this is the email address and so on. It's from booking.com. Click continue. So the next step is to uh, select the action. Um, and here, what I've done is just search for Twilio and selected it. Uh, then we go to the trigger again. I've said selected send SMS. The next step then is to connect your Twilio account. Um, and in like similar fashion, you click this, uh, click that button. It opens up a pop-up where you enter your account SID and your auth token and continue. Um, and to do that, you just go to twilio.com. Um, you can sign up for a trial account. It takes about two minutes to get set up. You get a, you get a, a test phone number you can use, or you can select one of your, um, you can, you can select one you prefer to have from what's available. Then you'll see your account SID and you'll see your auth token here and you use those then to connect to, um, Zapier. And that's more or less it. You don't really need to do anything else apart from this, keep this balance topped up. And it doesn't cost a lot. So we have a trial balance of $14.50. Um, and the, the price, the cost for SMS messages is, is less than a cent in the US. Um, it's three cents in Canada and four cent in the UK. And I believe they, they work in um, a lot of other countries as well. So we set that up. We click continue. And this is where we're actually going to construct the automated SMS that gets sent out to your cleaner. Um, so first of all, we, we um, select the from number, and this is the one that's being provided by Twilio. Uh, you can have multiple numbers, which is why you can select more. We'll leave this blank. Uh, this is the two numbers. This is going to be your cleaner's number. Um, I've just used uh, a test phone number here. Um, we then create the... the uh, Turnover itself, uh, sorry, the message itself, we can construct the message. So what I've done here is new turnover four. Um, then you use this to pull in the dynamic data from Uplisting. So this is going to be the property name. Um, we can say, we can add the, add the guest name if you wanted to. So we have new turnover for this property on this date, which is the checkout date at this time, which is the departure time, which is here. Uh, and I've, I've just said here, unless you receive an update. So if this departure time changes, um, you can then use the new, the booking modified trigger to update the, the cleaner as to that. Uh, guest checking out is 
uh, I have used uh, just sorry guest. What I should have here is the number of guests checking out, and that is uh, two, so the number of guests here. So that gives the cleaner idea of how many beds they need to, uh, you know, clean up or, or towels um, and then that kind of thing. And if you want, you can provide the guest phone number. There's lots of other information here that you can decide to or not to send to your cleaner, like the guest name, um, the booking site, uh, the, the phone number as we've used, the number of nights they've stayed, uh, and so on. Then that's it. That's pretty much it set up. I have selected here to uh, use messages of up to 1600 characters. Um, I have done that because the the listing name might be you know very long, for example, and it's not necessary that you do need to have 1600 characters. But if you do, it means that if this message is uh, particularly long, then the cleaner will get you know two, three messages in a row um, to show all the content. I then click uh, click continue. And I can test this step. So I'm sending a test. You can use your own number you know, to test this to make sure it's working. Um, then that's been sent successfully. So I can show you what that message looks like. So this is the message I received from uh, via Zapier, via Uplisting, Twilio and Zapier. Uh, it says, um, it says send me a trial account that won't show up once you're um, a, a member of Twilio, but it says new turnover for Chic Apartment in the heart of East London on the 14th of January, 2019. Checkout is 11, unless you receive an update. And get, uh, guest checking out is two, so that'd be number is two, and the guest phone number is this phone number in case you need to use it. So that is uh, how to set a trigger so that your cleaner or whoever else you need to gets an automated SMS message every time a booking is imported into Uplisting. One thing you may need to do here is filter the property. So at the moment, um, what will happen is if you have 50 properties and you get a new booking, your cleaner will get an update for all of those um, properties. So any booking on that property, that is not necessarily something you want to do. You may have one cleaner for each property, for example. In that case, you can add a filter. So I just clicked um, the plus icon here. I select uh, filter. Only continue if. And what we're going to do here is only continue if the property matches the exact name. So I select this drop down. Um, I select the property name. I say uh, text exactly matches. And then I paste the property. So this means that. Um, this message will only get sent to that particular phone number if the property name exactly matches this property. So that means that only bookings that are um, on this particularly the particular listing or property will get sent to that number. Um, you can also add, you know, if, if that cleaner was responsible for five properties, for example, you can say, or you can enter, enter the next property name, do the exact same process, and again, and again, and again, for as many as you need. So if I just test this to continue, it shows here that your zap would have continued, which means that I've set this up correctly. If this booking, uh, this booking was on this property, so the message will get sent. So it's as simple as that. You can add filters and um, steps if you need to. It's very, 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 very flexible. The last step then is to turn this zap on. Um, and that will mean from now on, once a new booking is imported into Uplisting, it will, uh, as long as it meets these filters, um, this, which basically means that uh, it is on that property, then this SMS message will get sent to your cleaner. So very flexible, very powerful, and doesn't take too long to set up. So give it a go. See what you think. Um, we're on hand to answer any questions and help you if we can. Uh, give it a go.